All right, people. Welcome back. More Daily Duel. So today is Monday. We are playing them Buster Bladers, and uh, hopefully everything goes well. Uh, I'm going to state right now, I'm not dueling anything that's tier 2 or higher. Like, because Buster Blader, I'm not even tier 2. I thought I thought maybe Buster Blader was tier 2. Not even close. Like, it just kind of fell off the map. It definitely did. So, ugh. <laughs> uh, we got two more weeks of the current setup before the polls and all of that, and then we switch it up, so... Uh, we'll just keep on playing with this until it's time to get off, but right now I think that the, the current version deck is pretty pinnacle. I mean, it's pretty good. It's pretty great. So, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and find out. I mean, it's a pendulum based deck. I mean, I might as well just go ahead and scoop it up right now. Like, uh, I mean, I know I'm, pen I'm I'm kind of a pendulum based deck, but I'm kind of just using the pendulum mechanic to take advantage of the system. Normal pendulums? Really? Normal pendulums? If it's normal pendulums, then... I mean, okay, I mean, it just goes to show the pendulum mechanic is so powerful that you can't even make normal monsters power. So, I mean, this hand is... Eh? <laughs> it really is. It's kind of, this hand right now is kind of... Eh? What did he get? Like, pers Persona? Okay. So it's in back row. Replace it with chicken, really? Replace it with chicken game? Like, okay, I guess. That's that. You know how I feel with chicken game. Never leave chicken game there. Pay a thousand draw card, of course. That's fine. Now I replace it with a different fell spell, right? You're not gonna just leave chicken game there, right? Ah, hot ice fusion. Yep. Use the two cards in your hand for uh, for vortex. Yep. So good. He's got himself a nice uh, solemn judgment esque monster with one negate. Awesome. So if I could have any way of fucking busting out, like nah, nah, I drew into not what I needed. Uh, I can go ahead and play chicken game, draw a card, and hopefully draw into what I need. Hmm. Hmm. That's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. So, I'm actually in this duel now. Definitely. Uh, if I play this, it depends on if what he negates, because I can just go ahead and pendulum summon attack over his ass, so. I think about maybe playing Twin Twister. Uh, Destruction Sword, Buster Blader. I'm going to summon the Buster Blader. Like, that's a given. I think about going Twin Twister, pitching, popping these two, and seeing if he negates. Can you read these two for me? Is that okay? Or do you want to negate? If you want, if he negates, then obviously this card's to protect the Vortex Dragon. If not, and he lets it go, then I might be okay. Okay, he's gonna negate. It's fine. So obviously this card's probably like a Solemn Strike or something, or Solemn Warning. Because that is definitely some powerful negate right there. So I think I'll go ahead and activate you. Activate Yang Shi. Hope this isn't a Twin Twist. Oh wait, he, it can't be a Twin Twister because he has those. Well, it can, but he doesn't have any cards in his hand to pitch. That's just nice. So I'm going to go ahead and activate you. I have another Magician in my Pendulum Scale. Dragon Pit Pitch. Pop that set card. Pendulum Summon. Attack over him. Because obviously he protected this. Like, he, he obviously wants to protect this. So, go ahead and activate my effect. Pitch the Yang Key. Pop that set card. Solemn Warning. Solemn Nose. Something like that. Along those lines. Solemn Strike. Get rid, of, get rid of it. Get fucking rid of it. And then I'm gonna tack over your ass. Like, I'm, I'm gonna bring it. Pop it. Unless you want a chain. I have no idea what it is, but pop it. Nigga, really? So, you're gonna kill your own monster. I guess you wanna get a dark magic attack. But then your monster's gonna die. I'd rather not chain it. So, you're gonna get a dark magic attack, but... You're gonna lose your monster. Hope it was worth it. Hope, hope it was worth it. So, go ahead and get your dark magic attack. Then lose everything. Good job. Uh, go ahead and tend to some in my Buster Blader. Ooh. Oh yeah, he has some dragons. Ah, he has some dragons. That's power. Uh, go ahead and normal summon you. Do your search. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna get companion. And go ahead and summon you. He'll make all his crab dragon. Kinda wish I had my uh my quick play spell right now. Just like a fuse with this shit. Then we're all even, so I'll go ahead and pack you for 36, and then I guess next turn I'll go ahead and pop this you can get. That was a pretty good play though. That was a pretty good play, I must say. <sighs> like, did you get anything to summon Dark Magician? Did you top deck in anything? You might have top deck in a Summoner Monk, that'd be pretty good. Summoner Monk, pitch, summon, Prisma, send Dark Magician, XC into 
into Emerald to kind of summon back to Dark Magician, or Chicken Game drawn to something. You have some plays. It depends on what you top deck and what you can draw with Chicken Game. I'm not in the best of positions right now. So you can easily turn this duel around. You can get him pay a thousand draw card. Yep. Do you even have anything in his extra deck? I don't even think he has any Pendulum Monsters in his extra deck, so that's good. He returned it and then fused from his hand. Summoner art. Alright. Well, yep, a Dark Magician. Okay. Dark Magician, Dark Magic Attack, and some other unknown card. Maybe another Eternal Soul. That wouldn't put me in the greatest of situations. That actually depends, because I might be willing to steal on Chicken Game, pay a thousand, destroy attack directly for game. So what's that last card in your hand? I know two out of the three. I know 66.6666666666% of your hand. <laughs> anyway, I guess uh, I really don't know what to talk about in this video. I have nothing planned, nothing going on. So I guess I'll just update you guys on my life. So uh, let's go ahead and start with the car situation. The car should be done Monday, as of today, going this up. Uh, there's just one more part that we need to fix. It costs like $50, but Mechanical at least put it in for free. <laughs> uh, and it looks like, I guess that's game. No. Let's try this card. Can you pop that card for me? You're not going to hide behind your chicken game. Attack directly for 36 game. Ah. <laughs> he's like, oh, I have a chicken game, I'm safe. Like, I can just pay a thousand pop it and attack you right for game. So, uh, I guess he thought he was safe because of that. He thought he was going to be stupid and draw a card instead. Like, no, I'm going to pop it and go for game. Alright, let's go get another duel and bear back. Alright, another duel. Let's say, I'm not sure to go first or second in this deck. Sometimes it's great to go first, sometimes it's great to go second. Uh, I mean, this, this, this isn't great. Well, actually, you know what? No, no, never mind, it's not. <laughs> I was like, oh, wait, it's this one. Like, no, it's not. It's the dark one. If it was the light one, then it wouldn't be so bad. But no, it's this, the dark one. I mean, it's not fantastic at all. Uh, go ahead and summon you, search for a companion or a sec veiler. Uh, Sacred Source, not going to get much use right now. Uh, I kind of went on defensive. Veiler's not the greatest of plays right now. So, guess I'll go ahead and summon you. You can go ahead and search me for a companion, and then that's it. I got a zero attack monster on the field. Great. Kind of wish I would have got, you know, both ends. Like I said, this deck reminds me of playing with a Bell deck. Uh, you need, you know, you need the senders, you need the revivals. It's the same thing. I need, the, I need my level sevens. I need my level, my tuners. I, you know, I need a nice combination of things in my hand to make things go all right. And if I don't, if I get too much of either or, it just doesn't look right on either end. <laughs> MST, my destruction sword of remnants, that's fine. So, I mean, if I ever get a Buster Blader. <laughs> if I ever get a Buster Blader. <laughs> Depends on what I want to do with this. I can go ahead and summon this, and then this can go ahead and search me. Oh, it's Yang Zing's. Ew. That's, this is going to be an annoying ass duel. If I can get set up and lock him out of his extra deck, then that'd be great. That'd be fantastic. Summon a Buster Blader, equip it with this. Yang is good. I'm gonna pitch it because I might be able to get my Pendulum Call on, or something along those lines. I would like to get deeper in my deck. There's a ton of 7s in this deck, so. There's Buster Blader, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, so. I can go ahead and lock him out of his extra deck, which is definitely a play I would love to do, so. Go ahead and normal summon. Uh, get a search. That plays from my hand. Uh, let's equip this monster from your hand or your side of the field. Yep, so oh, I can do that. So that'd be great. So I guess I'll go ahead and grab my super poly, tribute, summon, equip, unequip, go into my synchro, summon back the bust the blader, and then I would have the fusion play for next turn with all of his shit being dragons. And then, then during my stand phase, equip, and then he's locked out of the extra deck. So getting my quick play spell is actually pretty good right now. Assuming these are like, like your trap cards. Go ahead and tribute off. And that Buster Blader. Oh. And go ahead and activate, equip. Unequip. Hopefully one of these aren't like Solemn Strike or something. 
Actually, even if one of them is solid and strike, I'd still be okay. Go into my monster that makes all your shit dragons. Activate his effect, then back, buster later. Who's going off right now? I don't know who's going off. Oh, this is going off. That's fine, and then I guess I'll just attack and allow you to float, because next turn I'm gonna lock you out of your extra deck and be able to fuse with your shit and have a skill drain too, so. Might as well get all the damage I can right now. Like, it's, it's, it's Yang Zings, they float. Yep, yep, saw that coming. One creation, two creation? Or just one creation? Alright, one creation. Mm-hmm. You're gonna summon two monsters, and then I can just, right now, fuse with his shit. And then pierce his shit. I can just fuse right now, Buster Blader and anything, and then I can equip the thing to my Buster Blader fusion monster, right? The lock him out of the extra deck, I believe so. so then play my Quick Play Cell card, I'll be summoning my Destruction Sword, uh, with, I guess, you? It really doesn't matter. Yeah, it really doesn't. It's all the same. And then Pierce. Damn. And you'll be like, hey, I'm gonna float. Or are you gonna go into like fucking. Oh, I forgot about Chi Wen. I should have done that the other way. She killed the Chi Wen, because I forgot about the Chi Wen floatiness. Like, I kinda got you locked down right now, I got Veiler, I got, I'm gonna lock you out of the extra deck, your effects are negated, so, I got some powerful shit. So, I guess, like I said, during, during your turn, I'll go ahead and activate my effect to equip one of mine in the graveyard. No. Lock you out of the extra deck. Your effects are negated, you're locked out of the extra deck, like, you, you are in some deep shit. <laughs> summon Gia? No, I got in defense mode. No effect. No summoning from the extra deck, no effect, no nothing, and then I'll just pierce the Chi-1 in that game. Like, ah, the power of Buster Blader, yes! <laughs> When the, when the deck gets going, it gets going. It, it, I, I, right now, I think that this is like the pinnacle. It's a combination of all the great plays. Yeah. So I just don't like the sometimes there's just so many level sevens and so many tuners. Like there's a nice chunk of both of them, and they all have there. And if I draw too many level sevens, they're dead. We have the sacred sword to draw. You know, pot of greed. Well, not pot of greed. It's more like a lot of darkness. Yeah. Banished. Play it. Banished. Draw two. Even out. But getting two cards deeper in a deck. The pendulum scales are nice. Yeah, they're, they're, I, I, I think that we did really well with the deck, but I guess two months of playing the deck, I mean, you know, it's much better since, you know, you, know, you can't, you can't summon me from extra. No, we can't even synchro summon. You can't summon from extra. My blade of, my uh, destruction sword effect. <laughs> You're like, I can't synchro! <laughs> like, nope. You can't synchro, your monster's effects are negated, I'm getting boost off all your dragons that you have on the field, like, we got some fucking power right now, like, you wanna go ahead and scoop it up, I mean, the, yeah, the equip monster. So, unless you got another MST, MST, then go into synchro? Yep, GG, yep. Yep, GG, woo! Alright, another duel, bear back. Alright, another duel. I said, I'm not sure if I want to go first or second. I like to go second to get all the cards that I can, but then I also like to go first to set up the lock. Wow. Alright, well, he's definitely playing Pot of Cupidity. Like, this man's about to gain a butt ton of life points. Watch. Cupid Pot of Cupidity? Okay. Like, Pot of Cupidity? That's me. <laughs> like, holy shit, that would have been a lot of life points. I would have been like, damn! <laughs> Alright, activate you. Beat you, pop you, summon, I mean, play you. I'm just I'm gonna go into our mateys. Yeah, I'm going to our mateys. Uh, 
I can go into a lot of things, actually. Alright, go. I'm B. No, no. No, I, I'm gonna go into Buster Blader and then Armadies. So I'm definitely Petro Summoning you two. Because I don't know what that set card is and I don't trust it, so. And I guess I can activate, equip, unequip, summon, and then normal summon. Yeah. Equip. No, no, equip, have you equipped, and then you're just locked out of the extra deck now, and then normal summon you and make an amaze. Yep, 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 that's how we'll do it. Maybe you and you. And see you. So you're locked out of the extra deck, and I have an arm maybe, so that's, that's pretty good. Nah, no DD warrior. No, nah, no DD warrior, lady. How about now? Not sure if Lucky Metal the Extra Deck is the best of plays, but it's not terrible. I mean, he does have an extra deck, so. I mean, it's not like this card does much in my hand or anything like that. It's just if he gets around this field, I'm pretty much out of plays. So I that way. That's fine. I have Remedies, so. Once again, I'm to attack. So that's game. That's game. I win. <laughs> like, like, wow, that was a super easy duel. Holy crap. Thank you, Armadies. Armadies was definitely the right choice. Can activate your effect, you're dead. Damn. Damn, you got your booty slapped. I smacked that ass. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> Alright, we'll get another duel. Be right back. Oh, anyway, I was supposed to be talking about the car, so the car should be done. Over a thousand dollars to pay, but so it'd be finally nice to have the fucking car back. That's good. Um, school is just, ugh. Like, my, one of my English classes, because I already talked about my English class, I have two of them now. Uh, one of them, I get literally assignments every single week. And now, it used to be one assignment, now it's two assignments every single week. It's like a reading assignment, which is kind of annoying. Oh, black wings. Ew. Ugh, black wings. <laughs> Wow, first turn Nuthong? Like, okay, I guess. Like, that's what you want to do. Summon Zephyros. Okay. That's it? That's all you want to do? Disgusting. Disgusting. But this hand's not that great either, because I didn't get any level 1 tuners. I might go ahead and pitch you, because I'm probably going to be summoning you as my Buster Blader, so. Well, I guess first thing I should do is go ahead and do my inside plays and deck then. But wow, like, that's all you did. That's all you did. Bust out a Nuthong, summon Zephyros the Elite. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Go ahead and pop you, get you. Pop you, get you. Because if we get a level 1 tuner, that's if we get a level 1 tuner, which will be fan-fucking-tastic, uh, we will be able to make a uh, a Trish. We can Trish him. Uh, that'd be pretty good. We'll go ahead and pitch you. And we didn't. We didn't. Awesome. Awesome. We fucking didn't. So I guess I'll just literally jump this shit out of him because that's what we do. Like, wow. No level 1 tuners. Like, that really does suck. I mean, everybody, really. You, 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 you. Wow, really? What a love. The level 1 tuners. I could trust this man. There's so many. Like, I think we run 12 level 1 tuners? 12? 12 motherfucking level 1 tuners. Uh, that's pretty crazy, right? And we didn't get none of that. So, you kill you. I said, Black Wings are all dark, so it's not like I'm gonna get much out of this. And I kind of fucking. Oh, is that on, like a quip or something? What is your effect? If your opponent's monster destroy a balance to bear, you can target one of those monsters to equip it to this card. I should equip the album once per turn. You can send one equip monster. If your um, sure your opponent controls with the same type as the sent monster. That's pretty power. So he has all wing beasts, I can go ahead and send and get rid of all wing beasts. Yeah, give me that too. I'll just keep equipping. You don't need you don't need none of these monsters. I'm actually getting used to that effect. Like I said, I'd rather have his effect be like a like a cyber dragon as effect. That would be much better than this equipped cutie shit that he's doing, but whatever. So, I guess I'll go ahead and set this. I'll probably hold on to the Twin Twister. And uh, for now, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Wait, we don't have any... We don't have like a level uh, rank 4 in here? We should probably have a rank 4. That's pretty, that's pretty surprising. Just in case, like Castell or something. 
Uh, I mean, the extra deck is super tight. Super fucking tight, so. Alright, he's just gonna go ahead and scoop. Awesome. Awesome. Hmm. Hmm. One more duel. Bear back. Like I said, there's some plays where I want to go first, or some plays where I want to go second. But I'm kind of leaning more towards second now. I have the effect Railers to negate anything that I just first turn. I have Twin Twists to go ahead and set up and pop up, pop back there, so. Anyway. Uh, so, homework is, like, butt ton, so. Two, so, uh, two assignments per week on that, and then my other English class, it's every other week we get like five fucking assignments, and it involves writing a butt ton of essays. I, I only do I have essays for my English course, but I have essays for my other English course, just writing, 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 but hey, what you gonna do, right? What are you going to do? <laughs> Despots. Ugh, if you bust out that Despot 9, though, looks like he's definitely gonna pendulum summon. <laughs> yep. Powerful Despot, Despot, uh, 9. Render of Summon, Butt Time, yep. And another search. Another one. Oh, there's Field Spell. Okay. There's a Field Spell, that's fine. No back row. I think I might just go ahead and, uh, Twin Twister pop you. So, I'm definitely gonna be summoning you. Searching for, I guess, my trap card, because I can go ahead and pitch the trap card to get that in the graveyard for future plays. Or Twin Twister, pitch Twin Twister. No, no. I'll go ahead and summon you. Activate you. So he does have some powerful ass monsters right now. Like, that's the scary thing. And my Sacred Sword you away. Pitch these two pendulum scales. That won't get anything because there's nothing in the graveyard for them to touch at the current moment. And I'll go ahead and Sacred Sword. You or you? I kind of want you in the graveyard because you count as Buster Blader, so if I get you in the graveyard, then you'll count. Because I can't summon you with you. That sucks. But I can always pitch you with Twin Twister and then do that play, so I guess I'll pitch you. Get rid of you. Get deeper into my deck, hopefully. It's kind of not what I needed, but it's okay, I guess. Uh, not, I don't really have anything. Nah, no, I really don't have anything. Uh, Despots. Attack the shit out of me. I'm probably gonna die. <laughs> Especially you. Like, you're gonna boost up that attack. I'm gonna get my booty smacked. So, if you want to set up your Pendulum Scale again, I don't, totally don't mind popping him again. You can summon that shit. Can he summon, like, Despot? Base? What's his base? Oh, he's gonna put one back. I'm like, oh my base? Like, what the fuck is base doing? Like, please don't tell me you're doing that effect. Oh, there's Despot 9. <laughs> no. Attack me? That's fine. Boost up your attack by hella. 4,000 attack. Let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I said I can bust out my Buster Blader guy, but it's really not too much of a point in that right now. And, wow, all three Twin Twisters. Like, this, this, this is not the deck that I need fucking triple Twin Twister. Definitely not. Uh, I wish I could summon him. Or him. That'd be great. If I could just, if I had the remaining effect, I mean, sub done, like special summon, normal summon, go into my set, you'd be in the graveyard, special summon, you back, Buster Blade, or die. Like, I'd, I'd be totally fine. But nope. Nope, nope, nope. So, I really don't have much of anything right now. Like, Twin Twister, pitch him, pop those two, then go into my fusion monster. What the fuck does my fusion monster do when the shit's not dragons? Like, I need my synchro monster, but I have no way of busting out my synchro monster right now. So, that's. That's just great. <laughs> That's just fan fucking tastic. Keep getting twin twister or something. Might as well keep playing them, right? Yep, that strike. That's nice. So I could go ahead and summon my fusion, my best of fusion guy, but there's no dragons on the field. I wish I could summon a level seven. I wish I had one.
Is it attack and defense? So it's attack and defense. So you can increase everybody by 15 to 28. I said, uh, I might as well just do plays just to do plays at this point. I got nothing. What level are you? Eight? And I think you're the only level nine synchro is him, which has to be a dark type, dragon type synchro monster, so nope, can't do that. So, I guess I'll go ahead and, uh, kill you and you increase by 2,000. Oh, you'd be a 3,000 booty. Never mind. That's his effect. Never mind. Never. Oh, no, only 25. Okay, good. Only 25. I always do Pierce? I guess I always do Pierce. Set that, and at least I can Veiler him during the end of his main phase to make sure he can't attack over me. That's if and if he doesn't have anything else. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I scoop. <laughs> never mind. Alright. Didn't open up well at all. One more duel, bear back. Alright, this will probably be the last duel. So, just a butt ton of homework. You know? Uh, yeah. So, homework every week, Sunday to well, Monday to Sunday, two assignments for the one class, and the other one's every other week, but it's five assignments. So, literally, I try to get as much done as quick as possible, not procrastinate, because, you know, by the second week, I can end up with, you know, uh, two assignments one week, but then seven assignments the next week, and it's just, it's just a struggle sometimes, man. It really is. So, no thank you ma'am, <laughs> when it comes to shit like that. His hand's not great, but it's not terrible either, once again. Depends on what he's playing. Trains? Alright, if it's trains, then I'm probably fucked. Because <laughs> trains, trains are just so strong, like, I would ha literally have to lock him out of the extra deck. With a nice chunk of back row, too. Like, let's go. That's not great at all, that's not good for me. <laughs> Pungent Call with Pungent Call. Awesome. So, I'll go ahead and play my Broken Ass Pungent Call pitch. Get my Pendulum Scales and then probably get hit with the Strike. If I Pendulum Summon get hit with the Strike, then I'll just go ahead and scoop up because there's just no way. Wow, Dark Motherfucking Bride. That's surprising. It really is. Hmm. I can always get him. I'm getting another one of you. I think I might want a Sacred Sword and get, maybe get like a level 1 tuner. Get deeper in my deck. But I also want a Pendulum Call and Pitch too. I'm gonna play Pendulum Call, so he's playing Dark Bribe? Like, what the fuck? So. This is difficult. I need the level 1 tuner, but I need Buster Blade too. I do that play. Pendulum Call, Pitch, Pendulum Summon. Summon back that card. But I also want to get deeper into my deck too. Might end up pitching both of these. Say Dark Rab again. I'm going Neg on this play. I don't like it. You and you. And I can go ahead and Sacred Sword, Buster Blader, hopefully get deeper. Because I need these guys to pendulum summon, but then I want to pendulum summon you and summon you as my level 1 tuner. And I guess I can sink 8, but you can go into this, this and summon back Buster Blader, but then what? No, I literally got nothing left, so I'll, I'll risk the biscuit. That dark bribe hurt. That hurt. <laughs> I drew into something nice, but that hurt. Uh, I didn't draw anything decent. Got these last two cards. Got my pendulum scale, so that's nice. Twint bottomless. Well, I would've got bottomless and I was scooped anyway. Either way, so that's all I got for right now. Maybe I'll draw into another level seven. If I draw into another level seven, then I'll have a play. Hopefully he won't be able to run mass over with a train. It sucks that I have to get rid of all his back row when I'm dueling against trains, but it doesn't seem like he has anything, so... Like, Dora, Dora would just be terrible right now. <laughs> I would just straight up lose if he busts out Dora. So, I got... I have two assignments this week, and then seven assignments next week. I busted out one of the two assignments just on Monday when it's not even due till Sunday, so that's good. The reading assignments, I generally procrastinate on because I just really don't want to do them. Like, they suck. Like, they suck so fucking hard. Cool. So, I can go ahead and do that play. It's nice, it's just, you know. Once again, I would love to get my companion. No companion sucks butt. So, I have a play, at least. I have a play. So, 
set up my pendulum scales, pendulum summon, go into him, he casts his best flare in the graveyard, summon him back, attack, yeah. That'd be nice. You gonna drop Maxi on me? I'll take it slow. Nah, I'll let you take the neg. I'm okay. Better than then going off and allowing you to draw. Now if you end the duel right now, then fuck me, but yeah. You know. I'd rather just go ahead and let you take the neg with the maxi and take it slow. Because my play I was going to do wasn't that fantastic anyway. It was going to do a lot of special summoning for not for you drawing a lot of cards for no fucking reason in the end, so. Ex Ex Exodus or Exod or whatever his name is. Why'd you summon him? If you didn't have another level 10. Like, I thought you were gonna like normal summon Night Express Knight or something. I don't like the plays that you're doing. You're not playing well at all. Sent to the graveyard. Does that include I guess being destroyed by battle too? Oh, because you can do that. I forgot about that. Probably should have availed that. I didn't think of anything of it with him summoning a zero attack monster. So he's definitely gonna get his Doras and trains set up. That sucks. So Night Express Knight, then I have to kill this. Derek Crane. Definitely gonna kill him. Like he's gonna die. Then maybe you won't be able to do anything else. That's a good draw. That's a, that's a good draw. That's a really great draw, actually. That, that actually might lock him out of this duel. Because I'm going to bust out my plays right now. So, I'm going to go ahead and normal summon you. That's great. That's fantastic, actually. Search. I will go ahead and I guess search for my quick play spell, because I'm going to turn all this shit to dragons and have a busted blade on the field, so... So I'll be able to fuse with the shit, which is just fantastic. So, thank you for dropping that maxi and not special summoning. <laughs> you know, taking that neg on me. I know one book of two cards in his hand. I will go ahead and come to him summon one. Do you have something? Do you have like another hand trap or something? Because if you had it, you should have played it already. You two. You. Activate your effect. I bust a blader from my graveyard. Counts his best to play a while in the graveyard around the field, which is fantastic. Going off, I guess, companion. But I didn't use his effect to tribute, so I can send him another busted later. That's cute, but not necessary. So, all your shit is dragons. Kill you. Take all that juicy damage. And then I guess I'll equip you. Oh, wait, you're banished? Oh, I guess you're banished when you leave the field. Okay. Go ahead. Now I said, as soon as you get cute and try to summon a train, summon a train, I can just poly with you and then I'll have you skill drain too, which would be nice. I had to hit you preemptively before you bust out a door, though. Who the fuck is this? This card is normal summon. You can increase the level of all face-up machine time monsters you currently control by one. And this card attacks pierce damage. This card attacks is change the Okay. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Let me wrap this video first. <laughs> yep. There's the part for the car. That's fine. I'm trying to figure out what you're gonna do right now. Like, are you going to like, to a Tyrus or something? No, he's just going to exceed straight right now. Going to 101. I could just throw the effect down at you. Like, no. Nah, I'm going to hold on to my place right now. Actually, you know what? That's not even terrible. I don't care about that. Because you can't get over this, and I'm just going to summon another Buster Blade back from the graveyard next turn anyway. Well, that's fine. How yeah, about I'm gonna have him. I'm 
nah. <laughs> I was like, well, I was like, wait a minute, there's nothing bad about that. Like, nah, I'll hold on to my place. I right, definitely got that Derek, Derek Crane. And you have Derek Crane and that Express Knight, and then there's Dora. Hopefully, for you next turn, but you know, shh, no, you're not getting it. Next turn. Wow, another Buster Blader. So, another one. So, I do not control a Buster Blader. I'll be summoning a Buster Blader for my graveyard. Then I can go ahead and. I can summon you, actually. I, I should have done that. I did that wrong. I should have Pendulum Summoned. Pitched, Pendulum Summoned. Yeah, I did that wrong. Because I could have. I forgot about him. I could have pitched, summoned him back from the graveyard, then Pendulum Summoned. Him. No, because I need Pendulum Summon from my hand. So. No, wait. I'm going to summon from my hand. No. No, I didn't do it wrong. So I can pitch him and then summon this uh, 8. But what's the point of that? I, I can sink 8, but there's really no point. I'm okay right now. So I'll just. I guess I'll just have 2. I can make like a big eye or something like that. It's not great either. <laughs> I don't need to poly it yet, just yet. I wish I had my dark one to lock him out of the extra deck. That'd be great, but I've never seen that this entire duel. It's just a combination of cards that would be nice to have that I just don't get at times. See, I guess it doesn't matter. Only one of you is going to equip it. It's not like both of you guys can get one on one. Like, I want him. I want him. Like, no. Probably should have used this effect and then fucking equipped and then resummoned it back. Can Companion do that? I can't remember if Companion can do that. Let me see. Companion. This card is normal summon equal blah 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 blah. You can use one of the effects. All the effects and turn tribute or this card in the grid right now. He doesn't unequip like the dark one. That sucks. I will hold on to this A button. No, nothing during the standby phase. Forbidden Chalice. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, fuck. It sucks. It sucks because that means that he's not going to be a dragon. If you if you fucking Forbidden Chalice is me. God, that sucks. God, that sucks. Damn, that sucks. Of course he has Forbidden Chalice. That sucks. Sucks. Why Forbidden Chalice? God damn it. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Fucking Forbidden Chalice, people. Fucking Forbidden Chalice, people. So there's no point in throwing the effect veil at him. I got fucking nothing. Like, wow. Wow. Fucking Forbidden Chalice. That, that was a great fucking play. You, drew, you top deck that Penta? God, who the fuck plays Forbidden Chalice? This guy. And it worked out perfectly for him. Just mwah, perfect. Like, I didn't need that at all. Okay. I didn't need that at all. Saving it. Smart. 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 So. Cause that was I was gonna fuck you up, but instead I didn't know that got fucked up. Making his shit not dragons, cause I would just totally as soon as you summon that dark crime be like fuse with your shit, but instead, nope. You probably should have killed him, Buster. Like I would have killed Buster. He tapped to make himself unaffected by card effects, and I guess he's just gonna go ahead and pop my shit. I wish I knew what target you're gonna select, but I guess it doesn't matter. There's no point in veiling. There's one I mean what veiler the door that I'm not doing anything to this turn. Stop this. Yeah. I still got plays. Like I'm not out because I can just summon this, summon that Buster Blader back, so. I'm okay. It's just I wish I could do the pendulum call play right now, that'd be great, but I need to it's Dora. Then you just chain and make himself unaffected by card effects, therefore making him unaffected by my play. Okay. 
Damn, 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 that chalice. That hurt. That hurt so fucking bad. None of you guys are decent. <laughs> None of you fucking guys are decent. What's this set card? I don't even know what a set card is. Like, don't tell me that every single fucking card that he's had in this duel is something to fuck me up. Ah, uh, I want to end this duel. I want this duel to be over. Go ahead and play my quick play spell and rip the material off of them. Yeah, you know what? That'd be pretty good. Quick play spell. Gotta play it now. If I ever hold your peace, you know I'm gonna fuse with your fucking shit. Gone. That was a pretty nice way to handle things. Go ahead and pitch, get that shit back, but now I can't even attack with those things. But you forgot that you're a dragon? <laughs> I can't attack you directly, so. But I can go ahead and pitch, pendulum call, get these two back, and attack, attack. I mean, get, get these two. I'm gonna pierce the shit out of you. That wasn't a really good pay play to set that. Go ahead and summon her. Summon her, get a search, then pitch the search. And then I'll have the level tuner, then pitch the search, the pendulum call, get those two pendulum, some of those two, up to level seven. Wait, yeah. Then go into a sync gate. Yep. yep. Actually, pitch pop the back row. Pitch pop the back row on one of them. Ah. Doesn't matter. Yes. Yes. Yes, bitch. Yes. Winning this duel. Doesn't matter. It should be game. And hit pop. Pop that set. Just in case it's a mirror force. The fuck is this? Pendulum summon you. I wonder if that would be enough. Maybe turn you to attack mode because I'm attack and pierce you, attack you directly. So, yeah, that's game. That's game. Awesome. Yep, GG. GG. I'm done for now. I got I got business to take care of. So attack. You're a dragon. Deuce. No, I'm I'm busy. I'm sorry, I'm busy. Uh, I'm busy, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, and this daily duel is 44 fucking minutes, like, come on. Anyway, people, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, call it, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of the Daily Duel. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support. Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow with Dark Magicians, and uh, yeah, so anyway, that's how life is going, besides outside of that, nothing much. Uh, if you guys care, booze won <laughs> this past Sunday, beat Gohan's in divisional match, and we're the top of our divisions, that's great. If you don't care, it's fine. Just updating you guys on life, just, just, to, just pretty much a, like a, kind of like a broadcast or something, I guess you can call it, about how life is going. So, gonna be calling this guy, getting that part, fixing that, and uh, hopefully the car will be fixed, and I'll be happy. <laughs> School work's stressful, but I'll get it done, like, for, for one... For one credit class, like this class that I'm taking for this practice, it's one credit. We got like fucking a bunch of assignments, like holy shit. But hopefully it'll be worth it, and I'll totally be prepared. Cause right now, uh, if you would ask me, hey, are you ready for the uh, the writing portion of the practice exam? I'd be like, hell no. My essay writing's probably average, but my free response is fucking terrible. Like I think we took a practice free response. I got half of them right, so an F. And uh, yeah, so I needed to step up my game on that and then pass that, or else I'll be just paying 90 bucks over and over again. Like reading, I think I could pass. It, math, definitely. Writing, no. So yeah, definitely gonna be worth taking this class. Anyway, people, thanks for watching.